All right, hey there guys, Bruce Milligan from Cell Pro Repair Solutions here. Um, I am today doing the repair on a Nintendo Switch uh, headphone jack. Uh, the model number is HDH-001. I've actually already done the repair and I'm just gonna walk you guys through exactly what I did. This is the headphone jack here that I've repaired. Um, if you take a look at this bad boy, you can see that it's all kind of worn away and there's some junk inside there and that's the piece of the headphone jack there. Um, anyways, uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel um, and give it a thumbs up. Alright guys, um, here we go. Alright, so I've already removed the screws because I did this. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just a normal uh, four like a cross screwdriver um, for this. You also need the tri-wing as well. Um, that's usually included in any repair kit. Uh, it's the same one that they use for the iPhone 7s and 8s and whatnot. Um, and the tri-wings are uh, right here for this guy. And then obviously the X or cross one is right here. Um, so yeah, anyways, um, you also want this little razor blade and some guitar picks. What I did is I just kind of worked my way around here it actually is this easy. Actually, it's a little bit easier since I've been into it, but um, it's, it's actually this easy. So, so that's off there. I'm going to do the same thing on the sides. Then I can stuck it off on the sides. I usually just run a guitar pick down there. Actually, you know what? A nail works as well. Nails work pretty good, actually. Oh, and you want to make sure you actually have these guys all out as well. Because that will get caught and then it's going to get damaged. So have that out. And I think there's one more up here for the game cards. Have that out too. So, all right. So I'm going to run my finger down it. that opens that up. Last part is you really do need to kind of lift this guy up to get it over the lip a bit. And that guy just kind of pops out like that. It's not going to snap back into place. And just like that. Alright, so I'm just going to move these screws up here, keeping them in nice order. Alright, so again, we're going to remove a couple of these guys here. Uh, uh, that guy, we're going to pop this guy out here, again keeping them in order, and uh, I think there's one more over here. And then I thought that was, I don't know, oh, it's the middle one here. All right, so that's all good. This guy pops out. All right, so then you go, this guy's got four screws. Two, three, four. That guy pops up. Take your plastic spudger. Knock it out of place. Guy just comes up like that. All right, you take your new one. Bend that back. Slider back into place. Crack that 
put that guy back down. I'm just going to bring this up to my face here for a second. Okay, that looks like it's in place very well. Take a peek. Alright, let's shut that down. We're going to go again, keeping these guys in nice order. We're going one, two, three, four. All right, so that guy's all in place. We're gonna take this. Um, uh, we're gonna use. We're gonna keep the um, thermal paste and reuse it. Uh, so that it should be fine. If we know, notice it's still overheating, I'll just mention that to the customer um, and just say, hey, we didn't redo the thermal paste. So that's that. Bring it back in if you want. Um, if it's overheating, but it should be fine. Uh, I don't think these guys have a tendency to heat up very much. Um, all right, so I was going to put that on, but it's not sitting that well, so. Okay, now that's sitting a little bit better. All right, so we're going to put these in now. One. Go with the middle guy now. Two. Three, four, All right, gotta get this guy right in there, and that guy's in there now. All right, so that's the last one, and now we're going to slip this back on here. We'll go with the top first. Um, top first because there's this little bit here that we need to get over. This guy's all sitting well. Let's take a peek. Okay, so I did have a problem before with this. Make sure it's kind of sitting in its proper places. Make sure this is all sitting where it should. Um, and that should be it. So let's slide this on the top. Kind of clicks in there. And then push her down. It actually clips in really nicely. Let's put this game card back in. Oh, sorry, the SD card. Unfortunately, the customer didn't bring any games in with me with this. I'd be playing it all day. Um, all right, see it's working. Cut that guy down. Probably should have turned it off before I did this, but whatever. Um, all right, see you soon. And then we're going to take these screws. And I'm not going to use the automatic. Oops. And maybe I will. They should be magnetic. They are not. So, oh no, oh no, those. Those bad boys are in there. And screw it in. And screw it in. All right, we got these top fellas. There you go. There you go. Oops. I'm way over here, but this guy's going in now. Beauty. All right, now you're going to take the tri wing. Set these guys up. Screw it in. That guy's screwed in. We're going to take the other two tri wings left over. Put those bad boys back in place. Alright guys, that's how you do the repair on the uh, Nintendo Switch headphone jack. Um, HDH-001 is the model number. 
And uh, again, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I do sell these parts online, so let me know if you need the part. Um, yeah, all right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.